Hey everyone, welcome back. This is my review of Akame Got Kill Episode 4 entitled Kill the Dream. <sighs> Akame Got Kill just keeps getting better and better and better. Okay. Like, this episode was so good. I mean, I mean in general, I guess you could say that it was pretty standard for Akame Got Kill because it really didn't do anything that we haven't seen in this series before. You know, like, it was pretty much just. Uh, them having them getting an informant to hunt that hunt someone down, them hunting someone down, and then a really epic fight scene, which I think this is probably the most epic fight scene I've seen in the series thus far. Then here, then this person dying, and that's it, as well as some comedy segments as well. So yeah, it was pretty standard, but I still think it was the best episode in the series thus far, in my opinion. Um, so pretty much what it was, it was like this Zank the Executioner guy, who's notorious for basically just beheading people just for the f fun of it. Okay. <sighs> yeah, another one of these guys, basically. And they have to hunt him down and kill him, and we actually do get a little bit more plot progression in this episode, though, because we do learn about what these, uh, Imperial Arms are. These Imperial Arms are... These weapons, basically, which people are able, able to wield, there's 48 of them total, and they were created thousands of years ago by an emperor and whatnot. And every member of Night Raid has one. We haven't we learned kind of what all the members are, except for the leaders. Excuse me. Um, but and I'm assuming that every major player in the capital has one as well, because this guy here, Zenk the Ex Executioner, had one. Okay, it allows them to basically read people's thoughts. Alright, so I'm guessing that every major player in the capital has one, such as maybe Kurome, who was Ak Akami's sister, provided that she's still alive there, because we did get to see a glimpse of her in this um, episode, kind of like an illusion of her. We're not, we're not too sure if she's still alive yet or not, though. But I'm sure that every major player in the capital has one, though, including maybe the Prime Minister. And all the others, so and there's a total of 48 of them out there, and supposedly like no two Imperial Arms will have the same power either, so they're all completely different. Okay, so it's actually kind of cool, even though for the most part it was a pretty standard episode. We did get some a little bit of pl more plot progression in this episode, which was good. So yeah, but other than that, not really much to say about it though. The animation was so fucking good especially during that fight god damn it like and of course when Zank the Conqueror was killed there was that still frame again so far in the series they always seem to have those still frames whenever the uh, villain is actually killed All right, I'm guessing it's just to try to show an epic way for the villain to die or something you know and it looked really fucking awesome as well Overall, the animation is great. We're pro they're, they're progressing the plot, and so far, it's just really fucking good. Okay, it really is. So, anyways, overall, hope you enjoyed this review, guys. See you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.